Hey guys, today is Saturday and today is going to be such a crazy day. I've got so many big things that I've got to get done today and because Derby is live streaming later, I've got to get everything that I need to talk through done before he actually starts. So here's what I'm doing today. I've got to do the critique session video for Patreon and monthly critique session. I've also got to do a fourth Patreon tutorial series, so a whole series, and I've got to record the demonstration footage for a new YouTube video, make the thumbnail for a YouTube video and edit it and all of that stuff and I want to finish making prints and I've got to finish all of the talking stuff by four o'clock. It's already one o'clock so I've got three hours. As some of you may know a few critique sessions ago I did have the issue where I recorded it all the full two hours and then all of the audio was messed up so from then on I've now been like stopping it between every single person's critique and it's worked out really well so I'm going to continue to do that I'm just looking through all of the submissions for the month. By the looks of it, it looks like I've got a lot of portraits to critique and mainly coloured pencil ones this month. I think last month it was mainly portraits in graphite. The submissions I get is majority portraits. I've just finished the critique video and as you guys probably know by now, I am not good with timing. So I said that I'll probably be finished by quarter past two. It's now half three, so bit out, I was like, I thought I'd take an hour and 15, but I took like two and a half, so I doubled the time that I thought I needed. So I'm awful at timekeeping. Darby's gonna postpone his live stream for an hour, so I've got till five to get everything done. So I've got an hour and a half, and I need to now get done the fourth tutorial series. So important that I get that done today. And just like that, guys, we are all done with this series. I managed to get it all done. It's half five, so Darby started just now what I did for the series is as you can see I did some demonstrations of water drops as the last part but the main focus was like graphite techniques so first I went through like how to hold the pencil how to get gradients how to like apply the pencil shading then how to blend it and how to add highlights and then finally how to draw realistic water drops using the techniques that I went through I'm just finishing off cooking me and Darby our dinner. We're having sweet and sour chicken with pineapple, onions. We've also got some carrots in there and we made the sweet and sour sauce before but we've made so much that we have loads left over. And we're going to be having it with noodles. So I'm just being quiet because he's streaming. But yeah, I've been really happy with how cooking's been going on. We've made some really nice meals all from scratch and it's been really really good and fun to learn to cook. I was doing all of the prints yesterday and I literally done all of them apart from the one last one and it said my magenta ink was gone. It went from being like a yellow like triangle to a red cross like so quickly within two prints and my printer won't record anymore record won't print anything when it's on the red cross so I had to Amazon Prime some ink and it's come today so I'm going to finish them off I'm a bit late on the prints but I've got the matte and the magenta one so that should be fine and last me a while and just like that we can print again so I've just finished the last one this kitten in watercolor and I've also got a few different ones here. These are for my patrons for the $25 tier. So I did all of these ones yesterday. A lot of people wanted the tiger one this month. So we've got tigers, we've got the little red one, and we've got a kitten here, and also the, what was it called? Our protector, that's what that one was called. So I've just got to finish cutting these ones down. I'm so happy that I finally got them all done. It is quarter to 12 at night and this took me so long to do because I have to cut the backing boards for each one as well using the cardboard. So I have to cut that up and obviously I hand wrote the thank you cards and I sealed everything and I had to make sure I put everyone's print with the right person. So it took me a couple hours to do that and I did that whilst I was waiting for all of my Patreon stuff to not only export but also upload as well. So now I'm gonna upload that to my Patreon. Good morning guys, I've just finished baking a fruit loaf because Darby's grandma's coming around today so I thought I would bake something and I just like to have something baked anyway. 
So I've just been doing that this morning. It's now about 11 in the morning and I decided not to finish off the vlog last night because I was just so tired. So I'm going to answer a few of your questions right now instead. So the first question that I actually want to answer was a question about sponsorships, like how do you know what to get paid and also like do you just accept the free art supplies or whatever and like how does it work the process of sponsorships for like you know YouTube or Instagram, social media, influencer, brand deals and stuff like that. So I don't do too many sponsorships. I've done about four sponsored videos on YouTube, mainly because I don't really like doing too many sponsored videos and I only like to do them for things and brands that I really actually believe are valuable for you guys and are beneficial. But another reason why I don't do a lot of sponsored videos is simply because I think it's quite new at the moment so a lot of brands don't really know how much to charge creators and in turn creators don't really know how much to charge and so the issue I've had with that is the issue I've had with that is I know how much I should be charging and how much the attention is worth and so I have a price that I set and I think because I've done my research and I know how like underpriced the attention is and how much I should charge and all of that, my price is probably a lot higher than a lot of other artists or anyone really, any other creators. Because a lot of people think about sponsorships like, oh, I've only got to do a 40 second shout out. Oh, I might be getting 200 pound. And they're thinking of their time as money. So they're thinking, oh, I'm getting 200 pound for doing a 40 second shout out and they think that's really really good value and they think that they're earning lots because of that but you shouldn't be thinking of it in terms of the time that it takes you to do that sponsorship you've got to think about it as the attention they're receiving so the views they're getting the quality of your audience they're not paying for your time they're paying for your audience and for example if you're running an article in a newspaper and adding a newspaper you're not paying for how long it takes or how much it costs for them to like print it you're paying for the attention and the readers that are seeing it so I work it out very much on the average views I get per per video so what my average views are and I'd say the average that I've seen just to make it easy easier is about probably like $50 per thousand views and so if you had like 20,000 views that's a thousand dollars and so you've got something called a shout out which is like the 30 second to 40 second integration and then you've got a dedicated video and a dedicated video means that the whole video is centered around the sponsorship so for example something like that might be you're testing out a specific brand of art supplies and you've got to create artwork using those art supplies and you've got to talk about those art supplies and the brand give your review on that and because you're centering the whole video around that then that would be a dedicated upload. And you can charge a lot more for a dedicated upload than you can an integration. An integration is something like, for example, my Skillshare video that I put up recently. It's just a small segment, a 30 to 40 second, where you talk about it at the start of the video, but then you get on with your topic and what your video idea is. So that's an integration and you charge a lot less for that. But what I feel is that because a lot of creators don't know how much to charge themselves and they price themselves way too low, way too low, then I feel like for people that are actually asking for the price that they deserve and what they're worth, they don't end up getting the sponsorships because brands know that they can go to a creator that's got just as many subscribers and views and get it a lot cheaper because there's not a lot of awareness about how much creators should be charging. Of course you can go and look it up and find out the information but not a lot of creators I suppose go and do that I found. So you definitely should charge for a sponsorship if, you are, if you're getting the views and stuff like that. And if they're getting something out of it, you shouldn't just be doing it for free because then they're getting free promotion. What are you getting out of it? But I don't normally accept just free art supplies in return for a sponsored video unless it's something that I really wanted and it was worth the value that I would charge for the video. For example, 
if I was, for example, to do a digital digital tablet sponsorship, because digital tablets and digital art is something that I want to get into. I've never tried it before, but say I wanted to get into digital art. I currently do not have a digital art tablet. And for example, if I worked with a brand and they were going to give me, you know, a really pro digital tablet for say, you know, worth a thousand, five hundred pound or something like that, then that is worth doing that for that free, you know, supply, that free tablet because that is something that you'd want and it's quite expensive and it's worth what it would cost them to actually do that sponsorship. But if it's not an art supply you'd particularly use or you don't know if it's any good or if it's not something you want, then what you do is you ask for that art supply to review, but then you also ask for the money for that upload. So you don't just accept the free art supplies. One thing that I'd recommend you guys if is if you want to do sponsorships, use a website called Social Blue Book because this estimates based on your engagement, your average views, your subscribers, your audience, how much you should be charging. It tells you the low end and the high end and that would be really good to get a basic idea about how much you should be charging because it might be a lot higher than you would think it is. But remember, you're not charging for your time, you're charging for the attention that they're getting. So that was a pretty long question, so I think I'm going to leave the vlog there. I'm just outside at the moment. Me and Darby are now going to talk about July, plan that out, you know, set some basic targets, goals, all of that sort of stuff. So we have in our mind an idea of what July is going to look like. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.